Color fastness to light is important for textile and apparel products. Light fastness is the property of a material to maintain its color after exposure to light. Light fastness tests are designed to determine how much color will fade when the sample is exposed to a known light source. Sunlight is often a major cause of color loss. The potential for damage is related to the colorant used, the product end use, the geographical area of use, the season of the year, light incidence, humidity, and other variables. By its nature, light is not a constant in its characteristics or its environment. As with most test methods, the relationship between any light fastness test and the actual exposure during consumer use must be determined and agreed upon by the contractual parties. AATCC Test Method 16, Color Fastness to Light, is the method of choice for measuring light fastness. It has numerous options in terms of light source, including natural daylight, artificial carbon arc light, or artificial xenon arc. In addition, the options vary in the conditions of exposure to the light, such as continuous or in cycles, light to dark, chamber temperatures, relative humidity as related to light or dark cycling, the type of filter, and other aspects. The light source used in the test is normally either a carbon arc light source or the more popular xenon light source, depending on the equipment that's available. The color fastness to light of the specimen is evaluated by comparison of the color change of an exposed panel to the masked or not exposed control portion of the test specimen. This burgundy sample was exposed on only one panel for a total of 20 hours. This red specimen was exposed for 20 and for 40 hours. After proper sampling and cutting, the specimens are mounted in white cardstock folders. The cardstock must not have any reflectance and must have zero light transmittance. For the test, a window in the cardstock is opened to allow for exposure. The design of the card will allow for more than one exposure to the light source. The mounted specimens are then loaded into the weatherometer for exposure and evaluation for fading. To get the required exposure times, a window can be opened for a specified time, such as 20 hours. At the end of this time exposure, the machine is stopped and another window is opened and the cycle is repeated. The result would be that the second opened window would have an exposure of 20 hours and the first window already exposed for 20 hours would now have a total of 40 hours exposure. After the weatherometer has completed the exposure cycle, the samples are removed for examination. In this case, two specimen holders are removed from the tester. The mounted light fastness holders are removed from the mounting frame so that the specimens can be evaluated. The specimen holder has a middle portion that was not exposed to the light source. The bottom and top samples show the light fastness fading for exposures for 20 hours and 40 hours respectively. It is obvious that this red shade has light fastness issues. Upon completion of the test, the specimens are rated to color change. The AATCC Evaluation Procedure 1, grayscale for color change, is normally used for the evaluation of color change due to exposure to light. Instrumental color measurement is also an option for evaluation.